Okay, a very short video to help you out with uh, base 3 to decimal conversion, or decimal to base to base 3. Okay, let's assume that um, I'm playing with base 3 numbers, and the only reason to do that is to better understand binary and hexadecimal. So, um, if you understand the rules for uh, a system that is not necessarily one that you use every day, then it's going to be much easier to figure out how binary and hexadecimal and decimal work and how to convert from one to the other. So if I want to count in, in base 3, this is what, um, what I have. 0 is where to start. I only have 0, 1, and 2 uh, as my uh, number of digits. Base 3, 3 digits, 0, 1, 2. So if I count 0, 1, 2, I've reached the end of my digits, so therefore 2 becomes 0, and then I change the digits in front, which means that when I started, I had a leading zero, I can have as many leading zeros that will never change the, the value of the number. So I could say, oh, so this zero becomes a one. And then when I reach the end here, that two becomes a zero, and one becomes, I have to switch to the next digit logically, which is two in this case. And here, two, I've reached the end, so I have to switch to zero, and this two, I'm at the end, so that becomes zero, and the zero in front of two becomes one and 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, and so on, and the one after that would be 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, and so on. All right. So that's a quick review. Now let's assume that I have this number base 3. I'm going to put a little 3 here. So what is its value in decimal? Well, 2, 0, 1, 1 base 3 would be 2 times 3 to the third power, right? I can number, I can put a little numbering system, an indexing system on top of the digits, and that's going to give me the powers of 2 that I need to use, right? So uh, that's two, to the, 2 times 3 to the third power, 0 times 3 to the second power, 1 times 3 to the first power, and 1 times 3 to the zeroth power. So that's 2, 0, and 1. So expanding that, uh, 2 to the third power is 27. Sorry, 3 to the third power is 27. 3 to the second power is 9. 3 to the first power is 3, so that's 2 times 27, plus 0 times 9, plus 1 times 3, plus 1 times 1, so that's 54 plus 0, plus 3, plus 1, right? So finally, I have 58. So now I can go from a number base 3 to a number base 10. I'm going to put a little d here to indicate decimal. So we understand how from base 3 I can go to base 10. If I want to do the opposite from base 10 to base 3, well, how do you that go about that? So let me pick a different number, um, 61, for example. So the little d here means decimal, and I want to figure out what it is in base 3. Well, it's some good x's because, um, well, first I'm guessing there's four of them, but it could be five. So there's four, some number of, of digits, I'm going to put x. So the first one, x here, is x times 3 to the third power, right? 3, 2, 1. Zero. So that would be the weight of 3 to the third power. The, the next x would be the weight of 3 to the second power, 3 to the first power. So now that's how my x's are going to be distributing themselves in the expression for 61 decimal. So now, let's see. Um, well, first, how do I know that there is not another x in front here? Maybe there was another x here. Well, if there had been, the, the weight would have been, it would have been x times 3 to the fourth power. 3 to the fourth power is 3 to the second times 3 to the second. That's 9 times 9, which is 81. And 81 is greater than 61. So I know there's no fifth digit. There's only four digits. Maybe fewer even. So let's take a look at, at that. The uh, 3 to the third power is 27, so 27 is definitely less than 61, so maybe this is 1 or 2, let's see. I'm going to try the largest one, always go for the largest. 2 times 27 is 54, and that's less than 61, so yes, so 61 is 2 times 27 plus something, I'll call it Y, so that's... 54 plus, and y has to be um, 
before y7. All right, so now y is going to, the expression for y is going to be this. This is y, right, which is 7. So 7, how many times 9 goes into 7? Well, 0 times. So I know that this x was 2, so now this x is going to be 0, 0 times 9. And so now, how many times 3 goes in 7? Well, 2 times. 2 times 3 is 6, so that has to be 1. So my expression is going to be 61 decimal is 2 times 27 plus 0 times 9 plus 2 times 3 plus 1 times 1. So that's 2, 0, 2, 1, plus 3. All right, so I, I hope that makes sense. Um, I'm going to redo it very, very quickly. Um, yeah, I'm going to erase everything and, and redo it just to make sure we all get that. All right, so we, we remember that there was no fifth digit, so, um, so that x here, I know is the, the right x to look at it. So this could be 1, 2, could also be 0, but um, let's see. 1 times 27 is 27, which is less than 61, so it could be 1. Let's see, could it be 2? 2 times 27 is 54 which is less than 61, so that x, I'm going to make it equal to 2, right? Now I know that that x is 2. So therefore, 61 decimal is 54 plus some expression y, which is equal to this. So that's y. So y, so what is y? y is 7, and it's the difference between 61 and 54, and that has to be x times 9 plus x times 3 plus x times 1, where x can be either 0, 1, or 2. That should be a, 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 a digit in, in base 3. So 7, how many times 9 in 7? 0 times. So definitely that's 0. So 7 equals 0 plus sum x times 3 plus sum x times 1. Uh, how many times 3? I'm going to go for the max that I can. So 2 times 3. So 7 is 2 times 3 plus x times 1. 2 times 3 is 6 plus. So x times 1 has to be 1, so therefore x is 1. All right, and now I have my digits. This x is 1, this x is 2, this x is 0, and this x here plus 2. So I write this as 61 decimal is 2, 0, 2, 1. to the third power, plus 0 times 2 to the second power, plus 2 times 3 to the first power, plus 1 times 3 to the zeroth power. Um, 27, 54, plus 0, plus 6, plus 1, where I type it as 61, and that's it. All right. Hope this help. This is helpful, and we'll help you on the 100% at the new time.